The Simulation and Clinical Skills Center was developed to serve as an adjunct to help our faculty train the future healthcare professionals. We know that physicians, pharmacists, nurses, we do not all work along in silos. We all work together, and therefore we should have opportunities to train in an interprofessional environment that allow us the ability to be able to work together as a team for the betterment of the patient. The center is comprised of two facilities. One is the mannequin-based um, and procedural and technical I skills where they get to interact with these mannequins that breathe. Yes, thank you. You want my daddy? Sweat and do all these different things. I want my mommy. Can I have something to eat? And learn technical skills essential to patient care. Human simulation up in uh, Clinical Skills 226, that is where they learn communication skills. That is where they learn how to take histories from these patients, how to perform physical examinations. And so they learn in class, but then they come and work with our standardized patients who are educators, who are able to provide them with feedback on these skills. Tell them if they are palpating correctly, if they are percussing correctly, informing them whether or not they ask the appropriate questions and giving them feedback. So it's important to learn how you're communicating the nonverbal and and the verbal and how you are actually moving forward with the physical examination on these patients. The students are able to decrease that anxiety about being in a patient room and having that face-to-face -face and being the one that has to do the examination and it increased their skill level at the same time so that when they go to the clinical spaces it's not the first time they've seen a patient. They have been with the standardized patients so they're more comfortable going in and taking the history. They're more comfortable taking the blood pressure or putting in a catheter. This center is comprehensive. We have humans who will help these students move forward with these face-to-face -face interactions. And then we have the mannequins where they can do more advanced skill training and learn that technical procedures that they need to do that goes along with treating that patient. I am so proud of what we created. Certainly I stand on the shoulders of giants like Dr. William Matori, who was a well-known surgeon here at our College of Medicine. The Dean at that time, Dr. Malvo, said we're gonna do this and then we just took off from there. Knowing what we had, we thought it was an ideal thing to bring everybody together to the table to design this center and to make it available to all in our sphere at Howard University who would like to do something to enhance classroom education. We have definitely made an impact on our student learners. Our student learners love this center, they understand the import of it, and they really, really are glad that they have something like this at Howard University.